See, hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> see, in Lar, let's see what it has to say. Live, three watching. See, in Lar, let's see what it has to say. <clears throat> Hi, <clears throat> Anina. I saw you earlier this morning at Miriam's. It's good to see you again. I'm so glad you were here or able to be here. Um, I can't remember what part of the world you are normally in, which where you are. Because we're all over the place, which is cool, which is very cool. So I ho hope you have had a good day. A good Easter. I was actually productive today. I didn't do any crafting at all. However, I... Hi, Mitzi. Happy Easter to you, too. I'm so glad you could join us. Hello, Barbara. Yes, Angie popped in earlier to wish us happy Easter and said she wasn't feeling well. So we all hope that she's feeling better soon. Hi, Belinda. Good to see you again. Saw some of you earlier today um, over at p and and then at Miriam's earlier. Hi, Marty. Good to see you also. Happy Easter to you. Yes, another Easter in... 1976, Easter, Good Friday fell on April 16th, and that happens to be my oldest son's birthday. And occasionally, Easter Sunday will be on my birthday, which makes it a very early, early Easter on March 25th. But that hasn't happened in a long, long time. So I don't know, you know, what the, how many years it takes for something like that to, to happen. But so good to see all of you. Um, this is a beautiful Easter card I got from our friend Judy Patton. And um, I thought I would share that with you. A lot of cutout, very, a lot of intricate work here. This is all die cut it out, die cut it, 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 it die cut it, it out. And, um, yeah, and it says, sending springtime smiles. May God bless you, Judy. So I thought that was really pretty. And actually, if you look at these kind of, I think that this card probably can find a place in my Daphne journal. Kids just left. It was fun and good, easy food. Oh, well, that's good. Good, easy food is good. Um, so they came to see you. Do you mind sharing what your good, easy food was? I'm always curious. Yeah, isn't this a cute card? I can't remember. My mom, we always had a big Easter thing, you know, and the egg hunt and the Easter basket and all of that good stuff. Um, but... Um, I think my mom used to, we used to do ham or, or fresh pork, which was like ham, I think, or roast pork loin or something like that. Um, and it was, you know, big gathering as always. Not so much anymore. Um, I don't know what my grandkids were up to. I didn't hear from them today. Hmm. Maybe the, uh, I don't know where they are. So, well, I'm going to read a little bit. And then I'm going to continue to work on this magazine journal. And apparently, um, 
I was watching um, Barbara. No, not Barbara. Louisa Hensel. And she took this uh, magazine, this one, or maybe it was a last year's East, uh, spring one, and she cut it up into, oh, my God, hundreds of pieces of ephemera. And she had, like, one thing that was, uh, let's see. Ooh, the, oh, I love those. Well, I think that's really delicious. That sounds yummy. I love that. That grape jelly meatball, that's a classic. That is a real, that's a classic. Hi, Belinda Smith. Do we have two Belindas here? Do we have two? That is a classic. And stuffed mushrooms. Ooh, mini, very good. Nice spread. And I can see what you said about easy. Throw it in the crock pot. And I'm, you know... Rice is one of those things. And there was our none left. Oh, okay. Well, no leftovers is good too, right? No, you don't have to worry about leftovers and such. Uh, so that's a good thing. So what was I going to say? Well, I can't remember. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, you don't even know that the grape jelly is in them, Barbara. It's just part of... Uh, Okay, there are two of them. Okay, that's, that's cool because Belinda's not an you no know, an ordinary name, um, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah, the, it's in the it's in the recipe, but you wouldn't you can't taste the grape jelly. I mean, they're kind of a little sweet, but uh, it's just one of those ingredients that's kind of hidden in the recipe. Okay, so I was looking at to see. Um. Hi, Angela. Good to see you. Uh, I was looking to see how many of these uh, essays or epistles or whatever you want to call them we have left. And I keep on thinking, you know, we're almost done. But there's R. Oh, okay. All right. Barbecue sauce. You can also use chili sauce. Okay. It's very versatile. Yeah depending on whether you want it sweet or hot or hot and sweet or whatever. So I'm going to read High School Reunion. Uh, how many of you gone to a high school reunion or two or three? I went to one, and I think it was the 25th one. Um and I know Becky talked about going to hers, but hers was a real long, uh, it would be quite the, the journey, going to go back to my sock. Okay. Yes, Barbara's been knitting socks, and she had to rip it, rip out the heel, I think, and start all over again. You've gone to two, 20th and 30th. Okay, that's, that's pretty admirable. Uh, I wonder how many people go every year. I, well, I guess there must be people like that. Well, they don't have them every year, I don't think, anymore. Anyway, despite swearing, I would never do it. I went to the 30th reunion of my high school class deep in the heart of Texas. I had not seen those kids since the night I graduated, and one quick glance confirmed my worst expectations. Bald heads, gray hair, double chins, wrinkles, fat, liver marks, funny looking, not funny, old. We're old now, thought I, so soon. And it's all downhill from here. Decay, rot, disease, and early grave. I felt tired. I began to walk slower with a noticeable limp. I began to think about my will and make mental notes for my funeral. This malaise, malaise lasted all of 30 seconds, wiped out by the bright memory of two men I had met earlier in the summer at a truck stop in Burns, Oregon. Mr. Fred Easter, 68, and his good friend, Mr. Leroy Hill, 62. They were bicycling from Pismo Beach, California, to see the rodeo in Calgary, Alberta. They had been sitting on the bench by the beach, reading in the newspaper about the rodeo, and one of them said, let's go, and they got up and went. 
And here they were in Burns in flashy riding suits with high tech bikes and all. When I asked Mr. Easter how come he left, why just for the hell of it, son, just for the bloody hell of it. 5,800 miles later, via Colorado and the Grand Canyon, they expected to arrive home in October, unless, of course, other interesting things turn up along the way. They were not in a race. I walked around from, I walked away from that encounter tall and straight and handsome and young, making new lists of all the things I would do and all the places I would go and all the things I would be in all the years ahead of me. Retire, never, die, never. As I write now, it's almost 20 years later. I've not forgotten Mr. Fred Easter and Mr. Leroy Hill. They would approve of what I've done in these 20 years. Next year, 2004, my 50th high school reunion looms as a faint fuzzy marker in the on-rushing future. Will I go? Probably not. Where will I be? Well, I've never been to that rodeo in Calgary. Why the hell not? I just, I just checked up. Uh, I just Googled Robert Fulgram and he is 86 and he writes, he's still writing. Um, he's got a website and his most recent published piece was March 7th of this year, uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I really like his attitude. He says that uh, everything you know, all of this is copyrighted, but he would love it if his stuff is shared, just give him credit. So I am giving credit once again to Mr. Robert Fulgram, who was 86 years old. And um, I didn't see where he's living now, but he was born in Waco, Texas. So he's a Texan. So. I thought that was interesting. And the piece that the essay that he wrote on March 7th had to do with spring break. So there we go. So that, whoa, there. Oh. Did we read? Oh, yeah, we did read the San Diego Zoo because I know Barbara was talking about what a great zoo it is. Yeah, let me write red here so we don't read it again. So I don't know what we're going to read next. Maybe we won't. The other thing I decided to do, I decided to, probably because of Dee Dee, uh, she was showing the Nick Bantock books. Uh, and I have several of the, you know, the art ones, like the Trickster. And because of her, uh, I bought dubious documents. And my friends and I, we did we did the dubious document thing. And it took us a long time because we only did it when we got together for dinner. So, but we thoroughly enjoyed that. And then I, I had never read the Griffin and Sabine series. So now I've gone and I've gone about buying them now, buying them. Uh, I guess there were seven all together and um, I've bought all of them the one the, the pharaoh's gate was really hard to get and it ended up being pretty expensive but i bought them all used and i just love his artwork his uh, mail art is just phenomenal and um if you're not familiar there this one this is um they the artwork is just but it's interactive it's a correspondence and what's kind of neat is that that there are things that open and, and like flip outs and envelopes with, with, with letters in the envelopes. And I was a little nervous buying it used that maybe there'd be an, uh, a, a letter missing, but nope, everywhere there's an envelope and there's something that's supposed to be in the envelope. It's in there. So I feel very, very fortunate. Uh, not familiar. Yeah. Um, I, I, he's, I don't know how else to describe, you know, he's written um, a whole bunch of books, but in this Griffin and Sabine, it's a correspondence between Griffin Moss and Sabine Sol Solstrom. And they start writing letters back and forth to one another. And it's rather mysterious. 
um, and such. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. And uh, dubious documents is a puzzle that you have to solve. Let me show that to you. There's a there's a um, a message like a hidden message in dubious documents, and it's a puzzle, and you have to you you have to figure out what the word is, and then you've got to put the word together in a sentence that makes sense. But when do you see the artwork in these? So each there's an envelope and in here you have to look at each one of these i only open one or two for you to look at so hidden in here is a one word clue given the clue that they give you uh, you have to figure out what the word is and it could be anywhere anywhere on this document so you figure out one word at a time and then you put it together in the end. And the interesting thing, oh, now you're familiar? Okay, familiar. -ish. The interesting thing is if you Google dubious documents, no one has spilled the beans. No one, if you go there and you wanna find like the answer, no one's talking. At least we couldn't find the answer, which I think is really cool. So that's dubious documents. The trickster's hat is an ap apprenticeship to creativity. Carol and I have actually done um, one or two of these during uh, when we were streaming together. Uh, we've done them. We've done a couple. Now, my, this one is unfortunately falling apart. Um, but you have to like come up with a fake you have to create your own country and make a postcard for your own country and then make a name for it that's one of the exercises and some of them are short and some of them are long and you know i've kind of worked my but my unfortunately my book is falling apart but uh, and he'll tell you how long it takes so anyway that's the trickster the trickster's hat and i'm sorry mine's falling apart it's well loved i guess Oh, for an education. I doubt that. <laughs> and then this one is just urgent second class. And I love it. When you read this, um, he makes it sound like so easy to make this beautiful mail art. He says, well, just go into an old bookstore and go in the back and you'll probably find bins of old dusty stuff. And he talks about literally making, you know, mail art. Uh, faux mail and it's just it's just gorgeous just gorgeous and i've done this you know i've taken like i have a lizard stamp like this and i've stamped half of you know and then put another stamp on its head but anyway this this is just and he talks about well you can use engravings and old maps and i just look at this all the time i love this book beautiful book so now I have a whole bunch more. Had to make room for them. I bought a storage thing. You know, you see those like a plastic three. I got three high and I'm putting all my clear. I'm trying to find a place for these type of envelopes. Right. And today I went through a shitload of stuff. Oh, my gosh. And I put the thing together and I didn't know where to put it. I didn't really want to look at it. And, you know, I, I'm kind of in a small -ish space and I didn't want it in the living room. So, uh, you know, at three o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I was thinking, where am I going to, where am I going to put that thing? And I came up with a brilliant idea. I, all I had to do was move some clothing 
out of my walk-in closet, a small walk-in closet, put some of those clothes in the guest room closet, which was empty of clothes, make a space for it in my closet. So it's in my closet. And I have all of these plastic envelopes. Now, are they organized yet? No, but some of them are. I actually created some collage ones. And I do my, I sort my collage bits and pieces by size, not subject, small, medium, and large. So they all have the ones that I've kind of gone through. You know, I, they're just in each envelope, there'll be small, medium, and large collage pictures. Um, and, and, you know, and various projects. And so in this one, I have all of the stuff that I'm using in this, in this diary. I've got a whole bunch of, you know, what do they call them? Um, works in progress, whips, and uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch I came across. Some that are almost finished, some that were never started, and some of those I don't think I'll ever do, and many of those, well, most of those are Rosemary Morris caboodle kits. So anyway but I'm going to continue to work on this for a while. Oh, the other thing I was saying was I was, I, you know, Louise Hensel, she took one of these Daphne diary magazines and she cut it up unfinished. Yes. UFOs unfinished. What's the O stand for? I'm being dense. Unfinished objects. No unfinished something. Okay. UFO. But she cut the whole magazine up almost, you know, into ephemera. And so she had, you know, the, the Timmy die cut that makes tags. So one, one, she went through the magazine, made like a little template, objects. Well, I don't know, unfinished objects. Well, it is an object, I guess. So she went through the magazine with like a little template and cut out pieces that were going to be tags. Then she had like the Timmy um, ticket die cuts and she went through and cut out pieces that were going to uh, make tickets out of. And then she did snippets and then she did something else. You have some RM projects too? Raises hands. Yes. Yeah. I wonder how many of us in here have some of unfinished RM projects. Well, I bought the Bumblebee one which is really kind of difficult. And I know there's a video and I think you have access to the video for life, I hope. Um, and um, the Renaissance one, I never finished, almost finished that, but never finished it. Um, uh, the Oaxaca, I love saying Oaxaca. Uh, the Oaxaca one is... I've made the cover and um, there's another one too that's almost done. Basically, it's complete, almost done uh, other than I have to, some stuff to put on the cover of the book. You raise your hand in it. That's right. You do. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. So let's get on with it, shall we, as Barbone would say. So this is the magazine. Obviously, this is the cover of the magazine. And I I had to, you know, the bottom half of the cover should have been here, but that just didn't work out for me. So here is this, and that's the bottom half of that. And then I made two signatures, and she has a really neat binding. This is Nina Rabina is my inspiration. Nina Rabina is my inspiration for this and how she binds it. Uh, it's I just took yarn and you just wrap it around twice and then you have that type of binding where you can take papers out, work on them and put them back in. And then I just went through my papers, you know, my, you know, my stash, so to speak. And um, and I stitched I, I stitched it here. I'm not a very good stitcher. I, I am getting better. Uh, it's somewhat straight, but not perfectly straight. And then I just started putting papers in. So this is what I've done so far. She had an envelope that you punch out. 
And um, so, and then I made this, this little girl came out of the magazine and this picture of this beautiful focaccio came out of the magazine. And this is a postcard from um, another magazine. I get store, strawberry moon, I do believe. Hello, Julie, welcome, good to see you. So that goes in there and what did I get done next? This was uh, one of the pages in the journal and this dog was on the poster and cut out the dog and put it on this, which I really liked the way that came out and did a little stabilo around it. And then this was uh, a poem that was in the book that I really enjoyed with a cat. And I have a cat and I'm alone together with Lily. So I made that page. And um, I think that's as far as I have gotten. So let's go on and make another page or two as people come in. And um, at first, you know, I couldn't find the stuff. I'm going, oh my God, where is the stuff? Where's the stuff? And then it dawned on me, because I'm so organized, I had put it in a plastic folder. And I went into my closet, and there it was. So, let's see what we're going to do next. I've made another journal, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this journal. And these are pages out of the magazine, and I've added some uh, other pages and right now this is just one kind of fat signature so and these are, again those are pages from the magazine and some coffee dyed stuff so this is that's the other thing i came across a couple of journals that are just made uh with nothing in them or hardly anything in them so and this is the beautiful card i got from our Barbara Clark, and I, I want to put that in this journal also because I just love the colors. Yes, and this is a stamp, obviously. Yes. And then this beautiful ATC that she made for me for my birthday. And we jelly plated on, when did we do that? Did we do that Thursday? Yes, I got out the jelly plate. And we jelly plated in the craft and chat room. And uh, we're going to do it again on Thursday. And I had a big old mess. I mean, well, if you, you know, if you jelly plate, it's just a mess. And, um, but I managed to get one or two pulls that were somewhat successful. So let's see. I cut that out. Okay, this is the one I want to work on. And again, I've been inspired by Nina. What? It's a paper clip? Oh, my God. Well, thank you. Oh, look. I could. Well, I'm glad you told me. Hi, Chris, up in the balcony. I was wondering, yeah, I'm feeling this thing, Barbara. I'm going, I wonder what that is. I, and I, and I, and I, I can't imagine what that could be. It's a hidden paper clip. Oh, look, folks. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for telling me. I didn't know. Well, that even makes it more precious. Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, all right. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you. I'm glad you revealed that to me because I couldn't feel, I couldn't understand what that bump was. And I didn't even, didn't even dawn on me that it was a hidden paper clip. Oh my God. I know. I, well, I, I guess I make them, but when I've made the hidden ones, the hidden ones that I made, um, the the top the top of the paper clip comes up so you can see it but yours is really hidden very stealth a stealth paper clip all right so this 
And this is some art that was in the magazine. And I keep on starting to tell you the story about the magazine. Um, and when, um, after Louisa made all the ephemeras, uh, there were, I mean, comments on the side. There were a bunch of comments about, oh, you better be careful because Daphne is not very uh, partial to people using her stuff. And I guess it's a major no-no. Um, you can, you know, you can cut it up, but you can't sell it. You can't, you know, they got... So I have no intentions of selling anything, but uh, they, they, they warned uh, Louisa about selling. Uh, I mean, if you take this stuff and make it in the journal, according to them, you uh, uh, you better not sell it. I mean, I don't know. I have no intentions of selling it, but good to know. Well, let's see. Let's see. Didn't know it is a magazine pick. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, the magazine's got, uh, yes, Julie, exactly. I didn't know. I didn't give it any thought. Um, and I guess it's okay. Uh, well, if it's not, I'm going to, it's not like I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to sell it, but I'm going to share what I am doing and what I've been inspired by Nina Rabina to do. So this is, all right, I need this little tree, Okay. And okay, let's do this one because I've been thinking about I've been thinking on this one. What I want to do, since this is because free advertising is a no no, are you being facetious? Because there is no advertising in the magazine. But I'm selling the magazine to you. I think it's a beautiful magazine. And, you know, once you go through it and enjoy it and feel the pictures and get all, you know, fuzzy, wuzzy, warm, and cozy, I am advertising. I'm giving her free advertising of her magazine. Is that what you, why you have? It's in home now, right? Well, that's what happened to uh, Cage Fish. She was doing, she was doing, um, there's a book that's kind of like street art and she was doing it. I know I figured you were being facetious because it was in capital letters. I'm smart. I, I that way I figured out. Don't understand why they make it. I know that's a very good point. It is interactive, but don't, don't interact with it. That is a ex excellent point. All right. I need, uh, Let's see. I don't know what I can. Well, I'm just going to. So each side of the page is not the same size. Who cares, right? All right. This is what I'm going to do. All right. I don't want to. All right. Let's just do this. I'm sorry, folks. I've got something in mind, which is. Okay, this will work. Okay, this will be good. All right, so, because I'm going to cover this. That's my plan. This is a two-page spread, and this goes across the bottom here, right? And that's going to go there. And, I, and I've got some blue paper that I'm going to glue on here. I got this. So anything I do with it is staying here. Yeah, basically. They want you to pay to play. I know. I don't, I mean, I don't get it. I, you know, and I agree with you. Why are they so persnickety about that? It's free advertising. Oh my gosh. Where did that go? I had it out. Oh, well. Okay. I bought a pack of really cool paper. Very textured paper that someone was. I I am so easily enabled. Oh, here it is. Hey, you see this? Isn't this gorgeous? And um, look at this paper. Is this not luscious? Hmm. 
Isn't this cool? Talk about texture, right? Look at that. Isn't this pearly? So I'm going to, I mean, this is like, could be a stencil. Yes, exactly. I mean, to be honest with you, when I first, when I first got the magazine, I, I subscribed. I, I decided to subscribe. So I got a year subscription and it came and I looked at it and I went, eh, okay, it's okay. But then when I saw Nina Rubino, what she did with it, I thought, oh, wow, that'll be great. You know, then I was excited um, with the magazine and I went through the magazine, been through the magazine now at least five or six times. And every time I go through it, I found find something else that, ooh, I can cut that out, or ooh, I can do that with it in this in this journal. So it, it's made it much more. Isn't this paper unbelievable? And I have no idea where I got it. I cannot remember. But it is so luscious. I don't know. I can't remember where I got it. I apologize for that. But it is pretty luscious. I don't know where I got it, though. I'm looking for... I guess I could use that. Look at this. Isn't that cool? The little holes. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Ampex. I don't remember. I mean, I am so sorry. I don't remember where I got the paper. Let me see. Let's see. I'm sure I got it on Amazon, but I don't know. But after all, these, no way to, I have no idea. I'll have to do, I'll have to, I don't even, it doesn't even, I'm sorry, you can't even see. It doesn't even have a name on it. It's got some quote that I can't read. Um, it's, like, it's like a diary entry with a date, eight. I know, not much help. I'm looking for, I'm going to use this, I think. Actually, this, ooh. Oh, that is blue. Okay. Yes, thumbs up would be much appreciated. Thank you so much for the reminder, Angela. Let's see, that could be snow, right? because it's snowing. See the snow? Yes, but what I'm gonna do over here is this is what my plan was. Let me move this out of the way. I actually have my little table next to me that is actually empty of stuff. Thank you, Lisa. Happy Easter to you. Oh, when I got my latest town and country magazine. And I like this article. It looks really good. It says, why smart people want dumb houses. I want to read that. And Andy Warhol in Connecticut. That looks like it's going to be. I'm looking for a picture to do what uh, Becky has showed us. I've watched that video. And I went to that woman's. Uh, who showed us that? Becky, um, that jelly plate technique. I went to that woman's uh, website 
And I couldn't find that short, but she's got a lot of neat stuff in there, I have to say. All right, this is this is what I want to do, all right? I want to... Take some texture paste. Let me make sure I'm in. Guess who sat sitting in my chair? Miss Lily. <laughs> what magazine? Daphne's Diary or Town and Country? Oh, I got time. I, I subscribed to something else and they threw that in or something. And uh, it's pretty, I mean, it's got good pictures. That's all I'm interested in. I'm just a, a picture girl. All right. So I'm going to take some texture paste. And I'm going to put it in my little porcelain thingy. I bought a set, set of these. Uh, to kind of do mixed watercolors in. Town and Country, the one I just showed. Okay, yeah, Town and Country. Um, it's a Condé Nest, Nest, Nest magazine. It's been around. It's a nice, it's a big magazine. You know, it's a nice, it's a nice glossy I mean, look at that picture. Is that not gorgeous? So that's obviously going to get cut out. And I've used this picture in several. I love this picture. I've got this cut out. So, yeah, I've got good, good pictures. Good articles. Good articles. Nice hand. Anyway, look at that. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Paul Getty Jr.'s penthouse in Rome. All righty. There you go. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue to that and then make like a blue and textury snowy. Um, that comes out once a month, Mitzi. Once a month. It's not, it's not. Um... Oh, you found. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. I knew I probably got them on Amazon and I was going to say $14. So $11.99. Thank you, Aunt Beck. You guys are awesome. I'm going to add a little blue paint to this and then put it, schmear, do a schmear job and make it like a textury kind of sky. Um, or should I do. Let's see. That's not even open. I am pretty much disastrous when it comes to sprays. Speckled egg. But that's about the right color blue. I want that kind of grayish blue. Hi, Southport. Good to see you. Let's see whether I can do this without. Ooh. Ooh, I like that color. Isn't that a pretty color? Isn't that like a, ooh. That is definitely a winter, wintery, grayish color. I like that. I likes it. Really. I am now standing because my cat is in my chair. I'm going to wipe its face. And let's mix this up. Oh, I like that color. I was just thinking of kind of getting some like some texture on the page. I've been very lucky this week, I have to say. I was at Dee Dee's and she had a giveaway. 
I am working in my Daphne Diaries Magazines journal. I've made the journal. And I'm just cutting things out from the magazine and putting them in a journal. That's pretty much what we're doing. And just chatting away and just... So Dee Dee was giving away stamp sets. And I put in my birthday. Like, so I put in 75 and I won. So I figured, whoa, it's, it's lucky, lucky me. Then yesterday, yeah, it's this is speckled egg. Timmy's speckled egg. And I think we need a little bit more. And I think I'm going to paint it on. Let me just see whether I can do that. So, so I was at uh, Maddie's Spectrum. Cre uh, art creations sale yesterday. She's got uh, every Saturday they have a. She's got a sale, and uh, Spectrum Art Creations, and I. She has unbelievable prices really good prices and I was just kind of lurking and they have like these words you know you get on their mailing list and then when they go they'll have a couple of like secret words that are in the email and usually uh you know and when you see it you've got to you've got to put it in like hashtag and then whatever the secret word is and you've got to put it in exactly as it appears in the email and a lot of times the word is misspelled on purpose right and then they just count you know that they've got one you know like a they count they'll say okay whoever you know the i don't know figure out who wins and I won I couldn't believe it and I had literally I had just I hadn't even said hi yet I just had typed in the word the secret word and damned if there it was Ian Law and then they they play a really cute game and I'm just going to give this some texture because I can This is going to get covered by that other stuff, so I'm not too concerned about, because this is going to kind of, hmm, I guess I should really, maybe, um, you see the texture I got? Get some nice little texture. I know, I did win. And then it was, you know, they play the game, you, you know, and whether you want to keep it or you want to traded i don't know whether that was the game but i did win oh i know i know um i won a two dollar credit that's right i won a two dollar credit oh there was now now it's slowly coming back to me uh it was like cards right a through i think a through l and there were two uh like losers in that bunch of cards and i picked the letter to see what your prize was, right? So I am very original. So I picked A for Anne. That's it. It's all coming back to me. I picked A for Anne, and that was a $2, uh, a $2 uh, 
credit, two dollars off my any purchase, right? Which is very smart because now, like most of us, oh, I have two dollars, so now I have to spend twenty. Anyway, I think it's brilliant marketing. So, and then I had a chance, right? I could have changed my mind. And I said, no, I'll stick with the A, right? So then just for giggles, they she turned over all the cards, right? And if I had changed it from, I would have changed it from A to L, L for my last name, Laura. And that one was worth $5. But anyway, I got my $2 off. And I, I bought a couple of things. I didn't go too wild. I have been known to go pretty wild there. The one year when they had the Stamperia Bauhaus um, pack. I bought every single Bauhaus thing that they had. I bought the 12 by 12. I bought the 8 by 8, which was stupid. Uh, I bought uh, the die cut pack. I bought the stencils. I bought the stamps. I bought all of it. And then I made a Bauhaus journal. So I didn't go crazy. But she said Stamperia, I think she said, is going out of business. I think... Oh, it wasn't Stamper, no, Stamperia. What's the other one that makes pa paper packs that begins with the S? But Stamperia is the stamp company, obviously, right? Let me just put some more of this stuff on here. I'm loving this color. It's such a pretty color. And it's interesting, mixing it with the uh, with the modeling paste really hasn't subdued it. I thought it would tone it down a little bit, but it's just a little bit. Because this paper is regular. Oh, you had a lot to eat. Now, who was all there? The whole... She didn't do any cooking, did she? You just all brought something, I'm assuming, Becky? This paper is not really very thick paper, but it'll now be thick, right? I should have something underneath this. Let me see if I can. Hi, Pam. Oh, okay. There was four of you. Okay. Well, that's a nice crowd. It's a nice gathering. Let me stick this under here. There. That probably makes more sense. Did you have ham? I think we usually had ham, ham or pork. Wow. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's good. So you got Scott's lunch for tomorrow and food for Greg. That's good. Okay, let's stick this. All right, I'm going to stick this in some really nasty looking water I have over here. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. Has anybody 
gotten caught up in the latest crafting craze. Oh, potato salad, mac and cheese. Oh, gosh, that sounds good. I haven't had any anything to eat since breakfast. I don't eat lunch. Um, but I'm having mac and cheese for dinner. Leftover mac and cheese, which I took out of the freezer. Thank God for refrigeration and freezers, right? Oh, yeah. That's true. Very carb heavy. I am a sucker for any anything, any salad that's got mayonnaise in it. Macaroni salad, potato salad, egg salad, tuna fish salad, you name it. If it's got mayo. Okay, Barb. Got a wintry sky ish. Okay. Put this down here. And let's see. This goes here, like so. And what do you think? If I kind of like, oh, you got a bad tuna salad? That's awful. I know once you get like food poisoning from a certain type of food, it's really hard. You can't, can't, uh, Oh, the new, oh, thank you, Becky, because I'm my mind's all over the place, if you hadn't noticed, because I'm trying to, the, 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 um, the mini pancake make, maker, the mini pancake maker, the little individual one that makes one pancake, um, everyone is, APG Jamie was using it at, on when uh, Crafting Mamas had her Zoomathon or Craftathon. Uh, and I've seen lots of YouTubes where people have taken that little individual and they're doing uh, uh, embossing and shrinky dink. No. Yeah, I don't need another thing to plug in. Um, and um, so I, I ordered mine. Of course I did. I am such a follower. And mine, it comes tomorrow. Uh, and uh, a lot of people are making really, oh, okay, that's it, Stamp Pendus. Okay, not Stamperia. Oh, Marguerite. Hi, Marguerite. Oh, how horrible. Ooh, I then did not, oh. <gasps> Oh, you poor thing. How awful. That is just, oh dear. Ooh. Whoops. Get back in there. Well, oh no, I gotta, I mean, got a bit of a, but anyway. So I had to laugh when I was putting the order in. As I was finishing the order on Amazon, all of a sudden there was a little ding. Basically, because this thing has become such a popular item, the price went up be be between the time I picked it 
and the time I went to, to, to ring out. Not like a drastic amount, but supply and demand, supply and demand. Okay. Uh, what I was thinking of doing is, I, I probably will, but I'm going to have to watch a whole lot of videos. I mean, uh, APG Jamie made some of the most adorable things. Um, and I have the, I have the shrinky dink, um, that plastic, the, the actual shrinky dink stuff. Cause I was doing some other project, uh, which I didn't finish. Of course, another one of the works in progress. So what I was thinking of is maybe just cut, cut this out in various shapes, like, you know, like circles or cloud-like and glue them down instead of gluing it down straight. But I'll have some on both sides. So long ago, but I didn't have any McDonald's for 20 years. Well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. <laughs> trying to think. I honestly, I don't recall ever having food poisoning. And I think that's something that most people, if you have it, you don't forget that you've had it. That's my understanding. Lily, this is just not working. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to sit down. Okay? All right? Okay. We can share, but not really, because my, my ass is bigger than yours. Ah. <sighs> Ugh, come on, move. Oh, she's not moving. <laughs> Little. Hey, hey, come on. Uh, let me get my glue out. She won. Someone was in a McDonald's cookie? Is that what you're saying? I'm trying to. I said, no, never. I don't think. I, I, I mean, it can be really. Pick her up. Yeah, pick her up. and Well, some of you in the stream know that Miss Lily has decided to become a biter. Yes, we have we're having our issues later in life, so to speak. She's taken to nipping me. And if I'm not careful, she has broken the skin. And I don't know what's going on. I took her to I I I looked it up, I, you know, immediately Googled, like, what, why would a, you know, a pet bite you? And it said that, that usually meant that they were in a lot of pain. And yes, a crabby old gal, um, and that usually that meant that they were in a lot of pain and that you should take them to the vet immediately. So I did. $800 later. There's not a damn thing wrong with her. Nothing. They did complete blood workup, complete body x-rays. Uh, I said she's in perfect health. Health. So I'm just uh, very careful around her. And it's very frustrating because... She, she jumps in my lap, right? She's in my lap, all curled up, all looking so cute. And if I, you know, all of a sudden she nips me. I know. Well, I know cat scratch fever is really serious too. And another one of the charming things of old age is your, your skin is thin, gets thinner. And I'm not even, I'm not on any blood thinners, but man, she got me good on my forearm once. And it, oh my God, there was blood everywhere. 
So I'm very leery. And it's very frustrating because she initiates this love a thon, and then all of a sudden, if I'm not careful, she'll be biting me. I mean, I think she would bite my face. Have we seen? Oh, it looks good. Um, I don't know, Julie. I don't know whether they, I have no idea. I'm assuming a complete blood scan, uh, you know, uh, thing would, I have no idea. I, I got, uh, it's kind of this, it's a, it's a scent. It's in like a little thing that I plug in, right? And uh, it emits this scent. And the scent is the scent that the mom, mother cat gives off when she's nursing her kittens uh, to keep the kittens calm. And you buy it in a little thing and you plug it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Phero pheromones? That's the word. Thank you, Beck. That seems to help a little. So, because I, I let it run, I, it, it ran out, and I figured I didn't really think it was working, and then she started getting aggressive again, so I bought some more of it. Aren't those cute? So I think I'm just going to cut this kind of in. I don't think you can tear it. I'll just cut this in kind of like cloudy-like shapes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Glue that down. Because it does look like snow. And if I cut this in half, and kind of round this a little bit, I can maybe get, whoops. Let's see. Now, I don't know what I'm going to, well, she's, she's uh, 12, Mitzi. She's 12 years old. So she's getting up there, you know, but she's still, she's a total inside cat. She's only been out like once or twice when she's kind of escaped. So I, I, you know, I'm just very careful around her and the, the, the femorones seem to be working for the most part. But she is, you know, she, every once in a while she'll have the zoomies. And she'll run around like a, a crazy woman. So the doctor wanted to put her on med meds, and she had prescribed uh, some medication for... Uh, Lily gets doesn't like thunderstorms, and here in Florida, you know, in the thunderstorm season, you have one every afternoon, and so she had prescribed some medicine that human beings, human beings, human beings take, um, and I think Becky knows, but we talked about this before, and um, it didn't didn't get, have any effect on her at all didn't calm her down. 
And my heart goes up, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, she's terrified. And she wasn't always terrified of thunderstorms. That's something, you know, so, eh, I'm not happy with that. Okay. Now, the next question is, I don't know. Let me hold this up. It's cute. It looks really cute. Let me hold it up so you can see. Oh. Can you see? But the next question is, what am I going to use to glue those down with? I don't know. That's going to be a problem. Okay, well, you you got to go. Okay, you got to go. Let's see. Want to say hi to the folks? Mm -hmm. There she is. Say hi to everybody, Lily. Ah, there. Okay, let's go. Come on. Go, go, go. Good girl. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? They are adorable. I don't know what kind of glue to use. Well, if in doubt, I guess glitter glue, right? That's the good old standby. Let's see if that's probably clogged up. I haven't used it in ages. Of course, it's clogged up. Well, let's try the Elmer's clear glue. I've got every single kind of glue. I've got Elmer's. I have Doris. I have Scotch brand. This smells delicious. I have gel medium. But um, that's such a mess. Let's try this. Um, There's just nothing to stick the glue to, you know? Maybe the dots? I don't know. Well, we'll just try it. I mean, I could take the pages out. Right? And I could try to sew it on. That would be interesting, right? And have like... Well, that seems to be working. Well, that worked. This is um, Elmer's... Clear, clear glue. And I'm really having a lot of good luck with it. Just putting it in, you know, a little, one of the little things. Yeah, both sides are bumpy. So I'll just, just kind of. <laughs> well, my neighbor's daughter that smokes seems to have moved in, unfortunately. Well, you know, this piece is much more dimensional than the other piece. Uh, and you might say, well, what difference does it make? Well, I've been enjoying having my windows open until, you know, it becomes unbearably hot. But she steps outside to smoke. And when she steps outside to smoke and I have my windows open, it's like she's smoking in my house. And, um, so I thought maybe she was just visiting, but she's been there now for two weeks. Ooh, that's a, whoa, that's a great idea. Ah, uh, dear. I have those. Of course I would, right? Hang on one second. 
That might be the perfect answer. Brilliant. Whoa, wait a minute. Because this is not working. Let me go get them. They're right over on the other side of my table. Let me just do this. That's a great idea because I have the little tiny ones and they're clear. And they're little tiny dots. Woo, that's a great idea. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe that's the answer. Oh, and the other thing, I can't show you because they're out on the porch, but my son sent me flowers for my birthday, right? And, um, and they arrived last Monday. And they, I mean, they, they look like, hi, Sherry. They look, I mean, they still look pretty good for being almost a week old. I mean, they look really, and they have, a, you know, a nice fragrance. They are roses and snapdragons and carnations. It's a beautiful arrangement. And all I've done, and usually, you know, when you get flowers, they usually <laughs> slam the window when she's standing there. <laughs> well, Barbara said, Barbara said, well, why don't you go out and just ask her to smoke, you know, in the front yard? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to tell somebody, you know, can you go go in your house and smoke? <laughs> These, right? That might be the answer. That might be. Well, I do say rather loud, oh, you know, thanks for smoking. I don't know whether she can hear me or not. She's probably oblivious. I mean, I really feel sorry for anybody that smokes. I really do. My heart goes out to them. I mean, I was a smoker back in the day. And it's a horrible, nasty habit. And I don't know how anybody... And why is it... It seems like poor people smoke. I don't know how they can afford it. I think a pack of cigarettes here in Florida is probably six, seven bucks for one pack. No, this is going to be... This could be the answer to my dreams. Let's see. Stick this here. I mean, it's not like this is going to get a whole lot of... I can't get the... Come on. It won't come off the thing. Wow. That's a sticky dot. Won't come off my finger either. Oh dear. All right. There's one dot, one ringy dingy, one dotty dot. Yeah, that's true. I just don't know how you can afford it. And I don't know how old a woman she is, but. Um, I've met her, and she's a little rough looking. Just, just saying. I mean, see, the other one daughter has moved in, and now I don't know. Again, this daughter's been there now for going on two weeks, so that's why I think she's. I don't know where they where they're all. I mean, okay. Let's see if I can get it off my finger. There, that ain't going nowhere. That was a great idea. Whoops. <laughs> and Angie's up and about. So anyway. I don't know where, I mean, these houses, where I'm in a, I'm in a duplex. So we are roofmates. What are you 
you got Lily? Okay. <laughs> and these are two bedrooms. And I don't, I mean, it's got to be tight quarters over there. Just saying. Just saying. So, anyway. Something like, well. And I don't know what how Jeannie is, the mom. I think uh, she's not well. And that's maybe that's why they're there. So, anyway. Smoking is a nasty habit. And uh, nicotine is so highly addictive. Speaking of smoking... You know, what really blew my mind is my, I'm taking bridge lessons, right? And the bridge instructor, I get these things sticking to my, is a smoker. So you can tell when she's getting like, having like a nicotine fit because she, she starts screwing up with the lessons and then all of a sudden she'll say, okay, take out deal 23 and, you know, deal it, bid it, and play it. And then she'll go outside and have a cigarette and then come back. Um, I, was, I was shocked when I saw her. Um, I was shocked. I was coming to class one day and then she was standing out by the, the building having a cigarette. And um, I didn't say hi to her because I I didn't know what to say. You know, I was embarrassed. Um, I was embarrassed for the fact. But anyway. I was pretty taken back by that. I don't think she likes me. I, I sound like one of my students. I don't think my bridge teacher likes me. She never says hello to me. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, uh, Angie. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, insurance is a is a horrible thing. Even when you have it, they they are they don't want to pay. Well, hopefully the pills will help her. Jones and for a sig. I'm hopefully the pills will help her. Well, I have a neighbor, um, and she was scheduled to have a shoulder replacement surgery. Uh, and the night before the night before the surgery, and this is after she has arranged for people to you know, to drive her and all of that. The night before the surgery, she gets a phone call telling her that her ins there's a problem with her insurance. And they canceled her surgery. Now, it's not life-threatening like cancer, but still. The night before, they didn't know before the night before her scheduled surgery that the insurance wasn't going to cover the procedure, really? Who's, who dropped the ball on that? What, you know, paper pusher screwed up on that one and didn't. Uh, I found that really interesting, though, because and maybe she's not military. I don't know. Um, that's possible. But this is basically a military retirement community. And the military, at least the career military people, they have insurance called TRICARE. That is really good. I mean, it covers everything. I know my mom had it. So maybe she didn't have TRICARE. There. Thank you.
you guys for hanging in there with me trying to get but you know what those things work perfectly okay yeah keep up those prayers i'm i'm going to that was perfect and thank you for the idea of using those. And that's what I'm using. These are those little glue dots. And these are the repositionable ones. Not that I'd ever want to reposition these clouds. You can barely see those little dots, those little boogers. Ugh. Okay. So, all right. So, I'm, whoops. I should probably put some down. Oh, I'm not going to put any anyway. They're, they're too much of a. So there. And probably should do some splatters, right? I'll come back and do the splatters. But I'm happy with how that page came out. It's kind of cute. It's a little thing out of the, the diorite re. There, you know, that you're not supposed to talk about so shh you didn't hear me you didn't see me i know nothing i see nothing i say nothing so the next thing i want to do is i've got quite the little mess over here thank you it was kind of fun now, that, that paper is really interesting. So let me dig into my stylish. I've got this. And this. And this is going to be a page here. Turn the page. Maybe I'll do it on this side. Yeah, the paper that I've used to make the journal probably wasn't the best selection ever, but it is what it is, right? I think this is the other side of that. So why don't we? We'll do it over here on this. Okay. And I'm going to cut this out. Is that going to fit? No, oh, it's going to have to go on that. All right. Painty hands. Painty hands. Like Aunt Beck's hands. And didn't... Uh, I never can remember her name. I don't know why I have such a block. But it was the Village of the Painty Hands was her Facebook group. And she and her husband moved to Costa Rica. And why in God's name, I, I can never remember her name. Louise Jen, no, not Mary. Oh my God. It's weird. It's so weird that I can't remember her name. I, you all know who I'm talking about. She's the one that came up with the term underpants for the substrate that you put down. Thank you, Lori Marie Jenkins. I don't know. Thanks. For, I don't know why, Becky, I have this block. I learned so much from her. You know, I found her when I first started. She did stuff that I never, you know, she and Cage Fish were like, what? You can do that? Oh, my God. You can alter a book. You take out pages and, you know, all of that neat stuff. Rob's her husband's name. And they packed up and moved to Costa Rica. I was even uh, one of her mods for a while. And I, every once in a while, she posts stuff.
I've got a couple of pieces. Well, actually, actually two pieces that I did of you know hers, you know, inspired by her. And they're pretty big. And um, one of them is framed and actually on the wall, hanging in the wall in my bedroom. And the other one's out on my front porch. Painty girly. That's Lori. It's, it's Lori Marie Jenkins, a different person. A painty girl is Lori. Her name's Lori also, yeah. She's so talented also. There's another. Well, everyone's so talented. It's amazing. <clears throat> and this is a trick I learned from Dee Dee. Instead of trying to cut that out, cut it out, um, you know, you just cut right through to it. And then you can, when you glue it together, no one knows that you did that. So whenever I see people struggling to cut out a little piece like that, I'm going, cut through the thing. You know, no one will ever know. It'll be our secret. Okay. Okay, so this is going to go maybe here. Ooh, how about taking Dare to be Creative. Okay, that can go there, and I'm going to take this. No, uh, let's see. I started Daphne's Diary about 11 years ago now. I wanted the magazine to be positive with no adverbs, just articles about creative people reusing materials. I am reusing the materials, taking care of the planet. Excuse me, wonderful, beautiful things. But most importantly, I wanted to encourage people to get creative. Well, there you go. I am. And maybe I will. No, I don't have like that. But I'm going to take this. This stuff here, okay. Oh, thank you, Aunt Becky. Let's take some of this. I guess Costa Rica is one of the more stable Central American uh, countries. I think there's quite a few, probably a fairly large expat community. I'll take that. Every time I go through this magazine to find, you know, stuff to stick in the journal, I find, I start reading the articles, and the articles are kind of funny. They're cute. I mean, they're, she like, about her day, and she says, oh, I didn't do anything today, you know, and then she lists all the things that she did, but in her mind, this is Daphne, she hasn't done anything, but she said, I didn't do anything today, you know, I got up and I fix breakfast for my husband and I packed their lunches. And then I went and I went to the, you know, whatever the dry cleaners and she goes through this whole list of things. And up until the time she goes to bed and it's like, I guess she did do a lot. Chat stopped. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do about that. Um, I'm moving, and um, anybody else froze? Anybody else want to? Let's see. <clears throat> Hi.
Is it back? Okay, there? Okay. Testing, just watching you. Okay. Hi, Linda. We are all just, can you see me now? I hope you can. You're all listening. And it's not you. Please have stopped talking. We are in the thrall. We are listening. You can't see me at all. You're just listening to me. Is that right? You can't see me? Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you for the story, but I... You can't see what I'm doing. Looks good. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Okay. You know, video's working. Okay, thank you. Good to see you, Linda. Um, you scared me. So why don't we just kind of tear little pieces of this. And... Um, Stick this down, right? Add some color over here. And stick this like here behind that, like so. Maybe take another piece of this over here. Ah. Move over here so you can see what I'm doing, kind of. I never know which way to have the light. You know, they say you have it behind you. They ha say you have it. I don't know. I never get it right. At least it's not dark out. It's light. All right, I'm going to stick this here. And stick this here. Like on an angle. Stick this here, like so. Maybe I'll mm, put her down here like so. And I've got things to put over here. Maybe stick this here. So, I forgot where I was. And we'll just do some splatters here. Dare to be creative. I got uh, my uppercase magazine came this week too. And uh, I don't think I'm going to resubscribe to it. I've been getting it. I mean, it's interesting when you get a magazine, it says, you know, your good, your, your subscriptions good through issue 65. And I just got issue 61. Um, and it's a lovely magazine. It's eye candy, but they had a whole neat thing about being creative and I don't know about you guys, but I struggle with that all the time. It's just a constant battle of wondering, you know, what am I doing? And uh, I look at this thing here that I have and I think, you know, do I just, just pack it up, sell it? But then what would I do? What would I do with myself? Oh, I know what I wanted to start to say. You know, Becky Becky gave me these beautiful crocheted cotton dishcloths, right? And I kept on saying to her, I don't want to get them wet. Can you really get them wet? I just couldn't picture, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sponge girl. I've always used sponges. <laughs> and Becky at one point said, do I need to come down there and get that, you know, put that in the water? And so... I said, no. So we were jelly plating. Uh, 
and that's where I, oh my God, I got so far away from that storyline. But anyway, we were jelly plating on Thursday and my jelly plate was just an absolute mess, right? And I finally got up and I said, fine, I'm going to go wash it in Murphy soap. And I said to Becky, I'm going to use the washcloth. So I thought it was very apropos that I used this beautiful washcloth for the very first time with Murphy soap to clean my jelly plate. And when I ordered the pancake maker, I also ordered baby oil because that woman that did that, the, the, the person that did that jelly plate thing with tracing the, you know, the model with the, I thought it was a magic marker, but Safia said it was a Posca pen and then did the uh, image transfer, painted it, and then did the whole thing. She has a video. I went to her website. She has a video on how to clean a jelly plate. And she uses uh, packing tape, right, which I used. And then she, uh, she used the Posca pen. I mean, not the Posca pen. She, she used, uh, she used packing tape to pull off, you know, bits from the, you know, on the jelly plate. And then she, I mean, she slathered it. Oh, oh you do too? Okay. And then she slathered it with baby oil. I mean, slathered it. So when I was, I was, bitching and moaning on Thursday because everyone was all oh, well, baby oil, mineral oil. Like, I don't have any oil. All I have is glycerin. I still don't know why I bought the glycerin, but I think I bought the glycerin because there was a recipe to make fabric paint that required glycerin. I don't know about you, but I I will have something and someone's doing something and you need a certain product to, to do that thing. And then you go out and buy that product. But, but when you get the product, then you forget what the thing was. So I bought glycerin for something and I don't know what I did, you know, why I bought the glycerin. But then I saw somewhere where, you know, you can make fabric paint by adding glycerin to acrylic paint. I don't know. So maybe that's why I bought glycerin. Mm -hmm. And then I used hand sanitizer, but I would imagine the hand sanitizer would dry out the plate. Anyway, long story short, I got a pancake maker that I'm going to emboss with, and I have baby oil that I'm going to use, oh, to make a gel plate. Yeah, I don't think I would ever, I would never, I would never make a gel plate. Okay. Um. That's, I just wouldn't, I would not venture down that road. To, I wouldn't do that. Because um, I think you've got to keep them in the refrigerator. They're, they're high maintenance from what I understand. Um, so I don't think I would do that. I maybe, I doubt it though. I think I probably bought it for the, um, the fabric paint thing. I'm still working on my boho. Oh, April. Okay, April 7th is when we declare. I declare I want to swap a boho square. I think that's what you said, right? And then tax day, April 15th is the day that we we swap. Mine's almost. Mine is 99.9% .9 done. Oop, let's not cover up the right there. How's that? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Come on. Okay. Sticky, 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 sticky. Okay. There. I'll trim that off. Yes, that's what I thought. has to be in the mail by the 15th. Okay. Okay. Gotcha.
Oh, I was watching somebody. No, I don't remember who. And she had a really incredible, it wasn't really a boho. It was just like a three-dimensional, uh, you know, forest scene with a lot of uh, hundreds of French knots. And what's that stitch that's it's like the ex extended French knot? It's like a long thing. And then she was doing something that was vertical. It was amazing. All right, so this is goes here, and then over here, I'm gonna put some of these little watercolor things. Susan Taylor, yes, that's thank you, Becky. That's exactly who it was. Mm hmm. That was something else, wasn't it? Gosh, she is, yeah, you're the one that turned me on to her. I really like. I just, yeah, I really like listening to her and uh, watching her. She makes some beautiful stuff. So, okay, so I'm going to cut this out. And then I think I'm going to put ink around her, her, not her, around these. You know, do the old dab -a -doer with the with the ink thing. And we'll do, look, you're supposed to cut these out. You know why I know that? Because a little picture of a pair of scissors, see? That means to cut them out. I think I'm going to cut out that scissor. Cut it out. I bought a really neat paper pack at uh, Maddie's uh, Spectrum Art Creation, a Timmy pack, right? It was seven dollars, and there was like forty pieces. Just what I need is forty more pieces of paper, and it was like old, like replica of like old uh, gothic like um, wallpaper, and then transparent flower stickers and all sorts of goodies. So see, these are going to go here, here, and here. And I'll have to figure out something here. Um, maybe this. I mean, there's, yeah, maybe that. I don't know. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let me just cut these out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut them square, and then I'll get the, the, the corner rounder, and that will make it go a lot faster. So i got to remember we have bridge tomorrow instead of Wednesday. While we're, having, while we're taking bridge lessons, right? In the next room, they are rehearsing for a play, and it's hysterical because Linda, the instructor, is talking about, you know, like bidding a baby slam, and they are rehearsing next door, and you can hear them. Um, like there's a scene in the play where someone screams and someone screams and Linda just goes straight forward. She is going to teach that lesson no matter what. And we're all sitting there kind of laughing because we're hearing what's going on for the play rehearsal. But she's plowing through with whatever information she wants to impart with us. Anyway, it's pretty funny. And I don't know when I want to venture out in the wild to play bridge. I don't think I'm good enough yet. But apparently see, bridge is being played all over the place here. A lot of bridge going on here at IRCC. I just want to say that. So there are pickup games at 9 o'clock in the morning if you want to play bridge. You don't even need a partner. 
show up and they'll get you a partner, which I think is pretty cool, but I don't want to be that newbie. I can play the hand, you know, I can, you know, once it's the bidding, which is the hardest part of the game anyway, but I can play a hand. I can uh, maneuver, you know, making Trump and all that. I mean, I know this doesn't mean anything to you, but we were in, uh, we were, we had part of the lessons we bid a, a baby slam and in no trunk, which is the hardest because, because you have to play it in no trunk. And I was, the way the bidding went, I ended up having to, having to play it. And I actually made it. Because when you bid a baby slam, you have to take every single trick except one. And I did it. I was pretty happy with myself. All right. I think I'm going to do black around here. Because there is already a little black there. So I'm just going to make that. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Just do that a little bit. Like so. Thanks for putting that link in, Becky. And Nettie's, oh, Nettie was there yesterday. And Nettie bought me a couple of little gifts, which was very sweet of her. You know, because you can do that. You can bid, you can buy something, and then you can say to Maddie, and give that to Anne. And she did that twice for me, which I thought was so sweet of her. Now I have to say Maddie and the whole crew over there are incredibly helpful and accommodating. So if you've never been to Spectrum Arts Creations, they have a, a sale every Saturday starting at 4 p.m., I do believe. And, um, and she's got great prices. She really, really has very reasonable prices. Of course, there's always the shipping. You know, you just can't get away from shipping. There. there. Whoops. How about January, February, March? Let's get them in order there. What do you think? I think that's a pretty, that's a nice spread. Maybe, oh, I got little, huh. this, this thing is, this little foamy thing is frayed. Oh, wow. Okay, that's cool. In the Spear Perry, we used to go to the Captain and some played bridge. I played. You played bridge too? Oh, cool. Yeah, I need to, I can toss that out. That whole thing is, I got a whole bunch of those. Well, my, my ex-husband taught me how to play bridge 40 years ago. So it was like, you know, playing for the, I mean, what do you remember from 40 years ago? I don't remember much. Um, I don't know if I do this. And um, I mean, stickers came with the magazine, but I, I'm not, I really don't like the stickers. I don't particularly care for them. They're not me. I'll show you what the stickers are. They're two uh, hearts. Okay. And my in-laws, they used to play, they played bridge too, but uh, spades and hearts. Uh, well, there are stickers in here. I haven't lost my mind. But every time I go through this, there's so many things I want to cut out. That, that focaccio. Well, I don't know. They were stickers in here. I, I'm not making it up. Honest to God. Oh, there they are. See, they're like little, I don't know. I'm not very lovey. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. 
But I could do this. What do you think of this? Ugh. Put this down the side, like pretend that this is kind of like washi tape. Or, or, what do you think of this? 952 was whist. Oh, okay. And bridge is based on whist. Is that too much? Can you see the little thingies? Or just maybe just a, a, a like a, a like a strip of this, like a washi tape type of thing, or put that on the page. I didn't know that nine five two was whist. Well, bridge was based on whist. I mean, whist begot bridge. What do you think? Is that too much? Oh, okay, studying. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like bridges, you know, or with those aren't easy games. It's not like playing, you know, old maid or war. You got there's a lot of brain activity going on. That's kind of why I decided to take bridge lessons. Okay, you like that? Okay, I think I am going to, then I will keep that. That's okay. All right, so let's do this cut this down let's do this oh i know what i'll do i know what i'll do i know what i'll do i, do, do, do. I got an idea i got an idea i got an idea idea you know i d e a r i dear oh dear let's do this let me see if i can move this over here Oh, jeez, oh. ah. jeez, Louise. Okay, come here. Okay. <clears throat> now I need this back again so I can. Oh my! And really. Did you make it any harder for yourself? I don't think so. All right. I want to tear this. And I want to tear it right about here. Okay. Let's do it here. All right, and then we'll have a nice little, you know, a raggedy, a raggedy edge, but it'll be like a planned raggedy edge. I bought these, you know, the We Are Memories, um, rulers and you know with the different tear things and i know that it came with three but i lost one how do you lose a ruler i don't know they'll find it when they go through my stuff so i'm gonna do this Oh damn. Excuse me. Look. Hmm. That's what I... What did I do? Huh. How did I... That's what I wanted. Well... So you have to go the other way, right? So I'd have to go this way in order to get this? What did I do wrong? I'll turn it this way? I don't know. What did I do wrong? Hmm. 
Uh, I'm hoping I'm doing it right. Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted. Okay. That, and then I can just do this and no one was gonna, well, maybe you'll know. That'll be fine. It'll be okay. I just thought these edges were kind of cool. You get that edge. I think this is extreme. Look at this one. How about, look at that one. And there's another one. There's a third one somewhere. And this is this is nice, but this is just like what do you call it? A deppled, doppled, deppled, deppled edge. I mean, oh my gosh! It's five. It's a minute after seven. I have to go. I'm going to turn into a pumpkin or something. So thank you again, everybody, for being here and, and listening to me. And um, I hope you're not too bored with me working in this journal because it really is a lot of fun um oh that's fine oh that's kind of neat and i will uh you know okay and there you go that'll be that page so thank you again De deckled thank you marguerite that's that's the word i was looking for deckled thank you so much have a great week I'll see you out on the internet. Becky, thank you so much for posting all of the links. And yes, it is definitely cocktail hour. And uh, it'll be great. Thumbs up on your way out would be super also. So remember, if you can't be good, be careful and interesting. Bye, all. Thanks for being here.